Hi everyone, this is Brent Raymond from the 4D Method 4D in Wakanda user group. Um, just wanted to give you a short demo on a, uh, on a feature that is lacking from uh, the 4D list boxes, uh, which is uh, being able to autocomplete uh, a text in, when you're entering data into a cell. Um, that is a, say, common uh, kind of feature in an interface where as you're typing, uh, if there's a, a selection of, of texts that's the, uh, that are choices for a certain uh, field, um, that as, you, as you're typing, the value gets, gets put in uh, in a type-ahead manner. Um, more and more interfaces are moving to use list boxes. However, it's not possible to autocomplete within a list box cell. Um, so here's our, our demo database. I just have a, a, a form with a list box on it. Um, it's in the uh, project forms there. And we have uh, the, the object method for the list box uh, that we're looking at right here. And I'll just show you um, in the method how, uh, uh, you know, in the interface, how it doesn't work currently. Uh, if you were able to uh, autocomplete, you would need to be able to highlight text within a list box cell while you're entering, uh, when you're, when, while you're in enter, enter mode in the, uh, in the cell. Um, that's what you see here. Uh, you, once you've uh, found uh, where the uh, user is typing in the string um, from this command, and then you find the, uh, from the, the selection of choices um, what, what possibly could be uh, uh, a valid entry for that, for that field, then you have to come in and uh, uh, highlight set that cell to the value and highlight the rest of it. Um, so let's take a look at this in action. Right, so we have this list box, uh, which is an array-based li list box populated with um, values with records from the func table. Uh, don't mind this, uh, this, this draw issue here. I'm using 40.13.4 and there's, a, there's an issue with uh, it's showing the, uh, the drop-down for the, uh, the values, the choices for a field. But anyways, um, these are the choices that you can set the field to if you were to use the drop-down. Let me see in each one of these. However, you can also double-click into a cell. A long click, rather. And type a letter. However, you can see, actually I can't even type anymore because it's not working, but uh, that it's not able to highlight the remainder uh, after you type a B, which is what it should do. And I'll just sh show you it actually working by switching the case here, or setting that branch to false. Bring up our form again. Okay, I lost it there. Okay. Um, so then now as I type, let's go to another cell. It actually works properly. So you can just tab, tray, tab norm and so on as uh, normal interfaces tend to uh, to allow you to do. So how do we make this happen if it's not possible using the standard highlight command? Um, we have to do a bit of a, a bit of a hack to get it to work. So let's just step through the code real quick. We're setting uh, uh, the, this pointer to the, the uh, the current object that you are uh, that this uh, uh, 
um, object method is running in. <clears throat> on load, we are just pulling, we are initializing the arrays, we're pulling the data from the func table into the names uh, array, which is just uh, shown here in the, in the list box. Then we're creating the choice list and the choice IDs uh, that we want to uh, uh, be able to choose from in, in the list box. Then we're pushing that to an actual list uh, variable or list object in 4D. And then we're setting that list to be the list of uh, values for the func names array, which gives you the drop down uh, that you see over here. So that's how you make that work. However, how do we do the autocomplete part of it? So on after keystroke, and this is all common uh, code for autocomplete, um, just put here in a simplified manner. So you don't autocomplete on any of these characters, backspace, arrow keys. And then you check that you are actually editing the, uh, that array. If you had multiple arrays with multiple um, autocompletes, then you could put that in, the, uh, <clears throat> in this case statement here to handle uh, uh, keystroke on any of those cells. Um, if there is any edited text, there's no need to look for a value if there's no edited text. Um, then find, uh, find uh, get the text for, uh, uh, this, this is actually the value of the cell. Um, and we, we look, we, we get the, basically where the cursor is while you're typing, that's what this will return. Then we look for uh, that that value in our in our choice list with a wild card, so it, it will find the first uh, viable choice, and then you'll set that cell to the choice that was found if it indeed was found. Uh, normally, um, this is how you would update the. The interface with the the correct highlighting of the rest of the uh, of the uh, of the cell of the text in the cell, so that it will update as you keep on typing. Um, but in this case, we're doing a bit of a hack, uh, as you can see here. You never really have to do post key and uh, that kind of stuff. Post click, uh, unless something terribly wrong has happened, but. In this case, we're, we're having to make up for a uh, lacking functionality in 4D. Um, so here's the code for uh, under Mac OS X. Um, there's also a branch for Windows, but in this case, uh, uh, we don't need it. Um, uh, so what we're doing is we're posting the left arrow key with the command key down. What that does is it jumps to the beginning of the text in the cell. And then we know where we want to start selecting, so we right arrow key that many steps over, that many characters over, and then we right arrow with the command and the shift to highlight the rest of the cell. So it's totally a hack. It's a shameful, shameful hack, but it actually works. And you can't, you can't really see uh, especially when it's compiled, uh, you can't see it uh, jumping ahead. And regardless, the functionality is there. So, right, so here that's, uh, that's how to do text autocomplete in a list box cell. I'm Brent Raymond from 4D Method User Group, and uh, we'll see you in the next video or in the next meeting. Thanks.